what they receive from the comment form. The comment form can allocate them a further $500. Okay, so that's almost uh, double the pay packet. Now, how does it work? Okay, the key point indicator for this is excellent. Okay, because this is around the 80% mark. Not everybody chooses excellent which means that sometimes we can struggle to reach our target, but this is the difference. Now, first of all, it's the money, but second of all, it means that we have a good career on board because if you don't choose excellent, if you choose good or very good, it's, it's like a punishment. It means that these people didn't try hard enough for you, that they weren't doing their job when they're cleaning 20 cabins per day, three times a day. So these people, they work a lot and they, they care about you. So if you care about them, you think that they deserve the reward, then it needs to be excellent. Now, the first question on your comment form includes all 640 staff and crew on board, even myself included. This is actually a little bit misleading because it says your overall cruise experience. Okay, so it's actually not necessarily about the itinerary or about how the tour guide was outside in uh, Liam Chabang. This is actually about the people who served you on board. Did they do a good job? Do you think that um, they were excellent under pressure? That they always had a smile for you? That um, they gave you everything that they possibly could? Do you think they deserve a promotion? Do you think that they deserve that extra money in their pocket? The answer is only excellent because very good and good, it's a punishment. So the first question on your comment form, and you'll see where the other parts, the personnel is mentioned as well. For example, your waiters in the restaurant, the food quality, they're responsible for it. So if you think the food was good and that your uh, waiter took good care of you, Please uh, have a look at the excellent because this is the thing for them. Now I know I'm really pushing you a little bit, but I want to make sure that the point goes home. Okay, so what do you think guys? Is it excellent? Thank you. <laughs> so. Oh. Also, if you want to mention the name of Fred or any other person you thought did a good job, here in question number 18, and we also could really use any kind of feedback that you have. Like, for example, my English guests, my Australian guests, and my New Zealand guests, we all love baked beans, right? But maybe you can think of uh, something else, like perhaps a stronger English breakfast tea, or uh, maybe some other ideas that you think that we could make our service better, or our food better, or something more exciting, an idea that you have. Write it down here in question number 18. Now, here's some questions we um, have seen before. The mime did not speak English. <laughs> There was nothing to do on the sea days. You should have at least one excursion. <laughs> and actually, this one I can understand. There are too many languages in the announcements. I don't understand which one is mine. <laughs> because you didn't do English. Now, once you've completed your comment forms, help us by uh, dropping them off on deck number five. There is a metal box right next to the guest services desk. Central Hall. Okay, so if you could do that, we'll make sure you get some goodies before the end of your cruise. Have them in by 10 o'clock tonight. You can have a chance to win a model of the Costa Classica or a nautical map signed by the captain. Now, who wants to see the model? The aroma. Yeah. Do have to blow it up? No, it's not in my pocket. Are you ready? Yeah. T-shirt. <laughs> Does not float in the bathtub. You have to sit it on rock. Now, ladies and gentlemen, get your hands ready. Some big applause for some people who would like to wish you a fond farewell before you go home. <laughs>